It's going to be a hot midsummer day today in Yellowstone. So in this video, maybe I'll talk a little bit about how I hike when it's hot in grizzly country. Talk a little bit about the heat, how I handle that, and uh, the grizzly situation. One thing to be aware of is grizzly bears like to use the trails early in the morning when it's cool to move from one place to another. I really like hiking this early in the morning because the sounds are great. I can hear a couple deer off it, out in the distance. Just heard them right there, I was talking. And I'm not that much concerned about grizzly bears this time of morning because they're very active, moving around, alert. And their reaction to me is the same way at this time in the morning or at night as, as they are during the day in the springtime. But during a hot summer day, the circumstances are a little bit different and I'll talk about that a little later. I say they're up moving around very active in the cool of the morning. That's a good thing. It's during the heat at midday is when it becomes more dangerous. Nice little lake there. During hot summer days, I like to stay out in open areas like this. I'll explain why later. One thing that I always have when I'm solo hiking in Yellowstone is my inReach. I don't know if you can pick up uh, those elk bugling on this GoPro. But this inReach is a satellite communicator, so I can talk to my wife and she can also track me real time on the internet.
There are a few things I like to do when I'm hiking during the summer in Yellowstone. Number one, of course, is to bring plenty of water. Number two, I try to hike in areas where there is water along the entire route of my hike. Number three, I like to start out early and be done by noon. The reason for that is to avoid the heat and also the insects, the biting flies, deer flies, horse flies. Those things come out about noon when it starts getting hot. And the fourth thing is to avoid the deep timber. Try to stay out in the open and avoid the deep timber. Sometimes I gotta go through it. But if I can avoid it, I do. Why do I like hiking in open areas during the hot time of the summer in Yellowstone? Because the grizzly bears are in the shade in the deep timber. And a lot of times, right close to the trail. The other thing they like to do is lay down and sleep in the creeks. So I'm hiking along water during the hot summer, so uh, I really want to be alert for grizzly bears. They're laying in the creek. The question I'm asked all the time is, do I carry a gun, a 44 Magnum, something like that? And I don't. For me, it's not hiking peacefully. So the only thing I bring is bear spray. I've never had to use bear spray in my entire life, but I have it. Sure, a nice morning out. And remember the things I tell you on these videos is what I do. I'm not telling you to go out and do it this way or the same way. I solo hike in bear country. I always have my recommendation is for you to not solo hike in grizzly country until you get a lot of experience. I guess I'd recommend hiking in groups of three or more in grizzly country and have at least three or four close encounters. By close encounters, I mean within a hundred feet, three or four close encounters with grizzly bears. So you can get a feel for what it's like, see how you will react, which is still gonna be a little different when you're solo hiking.
Hmm, that's kind of a nice, useful thing. 